What's up, everybody? I am 8 Vic, and welcome to today's thrilling Valheim farming content. And now I'm just playing. I do, however, I'm, I'm starting off with some farming. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick and not really babble while I'm doing it because I don't really have anything interesting to say about farming. There we go. Got 30 turnip seeds in the ground, 90 carrots in the ground. It's going to be some good eating eventually. So this whole cool little area, this originally was like just a bare bones, like wooden forge. We, you know, came here for repairing our equipment and shit like that. And uh, once I got the stone cutter, um, Hearth and Home came out, we started doing some slight upgrades, trying to turn this place into a, a little village instead of just some square buildings plopped down on the ground. Um, and what really sucks is I recorded my entire um, overhaul of this place. I recorded the entire thing, but half of the video that I recorded, since I used NVIDIA Experience instead of Streamlabs like I normally do, it recorded my second screen, which was just Discord up on the screen. So it fucked the whole video up. So I have nothing to show you there. You can see what it looks like now. It looks looks pretty cool. We got this thing, plenty of space. We got our storage split up, you know, campfire. Once I get some more chains from the wraiths in the swamp, I'm going to have the big new uh, cooking station. Uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably do, but it's this one here, the big iron one. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty cool. You need that now to cook serpent meat and stuff. And I think I got some potions ready. Yep. Slowly preparing for a visit to the mountains, because I believe that's where you find onions. So I'm getting my frost uh, mead, mead resistant potions, whatever, ready. It's morning time. I'm also overhauling my house, me and my wife's house. Um, so right now, that's why I got this big opening spot. We used to just have a simple, stupid campfire here, but I'm gonna install a hearth, put in a new chimney on this side, doing a little bit of an expansion. Uh, you can tell this is our house that we had originally because there's not really any stone and I'm probably not gonna overhaul the shit out of it and introduce stone into it. You know, I like it. It's simple, simple house with two balconies, rooftop balcony, side balcony that overlooks the, uh, the ocean over here and I've slowly been adding to all this I'm not sure 100% what I'm gonna do with all this space yet um, but I'm slowly adding to it it's getting getting to look pretty nice this fire is out that's kind of that's not cool I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this space I wanted to make kind of like a tavern looking place um, but I did because I wanted it to be open up front and then closed in the back and I kind of I don't know maybe I'll still do that maybe I'll just plop down a cartography table here and redo the roof so it sticks out a little bit more. I don't know. We're going to do something with that. Also thought it'd be cool to plant two trees just here in the middle of our place. I might actually, I thought about doing like a, a tree house up it so that you can overlook the ocean from way up top. We got our new obliterator station over here. I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably know what this is, but just in case you don't, let's just say you have something on you that you really don't want. And instead of throwing it on the floor or watching it for 700 years... Oh, how about this? Let's take this flint, for instance. Let's say you don't want this flint. And you know if you throw it on the ground, it's just going to be there forever. Plop that into the obliterator. Pull this lever. Call on Thor. <laughs> and it's gone. Every once in a while, Thor will bestow his blessings upon you and give you something. So far, I've only gotten coal, which is kind of garbage. I've put off taming animals in Valheim for forever. So I am just now trying to tame them. Um, once I heard you can uh, tame boxes, I was like, I need to get on that. So I've been trying to tame this guy. Uh, if you know anything more about it, let me know because I've had him in here for in game like two fucking weeks. And he's still running around frightened. You know, I put down mushrooms for him. He's got some storage. He's got a little fire. You know, I don't I don't know what else he wants. And it took me like an hour to get his ass in here. Like real life an hour. So I don't know. Maybe eventually uh, maybe eventually we'll get it, but if you know some tip or something, I'm not gonna look it up because I don't really look shit up that much. And this is our new uh, portal house kind of intro to the village thing. Uh, I think I'm done with it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I'm really going to add to it. Maybe just some like cosmetic things, some banners or whatever. Right now we only have two portals. 
and our dock, which, you know, it, uh, it, it works. It needs a little, it needs a little bit of sprucing up. It's not the most beautiful you can look at, but it works. We got our, um, a long ship parked here, a carve. I got another carve at the swamp. I need to go recover sometime, but yeah, this is our home. So far, it's working out pretty nice. I had thought about like completely restarting an entire new place in a new game once Hearth and Home came out, but since it was so early in the progression uh, in this game, I just decided to just continue it, upgrade some things, add some new things, you know, and uh, continue from there. I have some upgrades I want to make to my house. You know, I'll do those on camera. And uh, let me tend to the bees, keep the bees happy. Yay, the bees are happy. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be installing a, ho a hearth here, uh, installing a new chimney, and making this place a little bit more comfortable, a little more spacey. Um, I don't think I've actually ever shown this house uh, on camera. Yeah, we just made it. So real quick, a little tour of what the place looks like now. This is me and my wife's bedroom, which I'm going to expand as well because it's really tight. But at the time, as you can imagine, it was a lot of, it costed a lot of wood. So um, I wasn't trying to make it super huge, but me and my wife's bed. And I got a closet here where we keep some extra shit. Secret chest where we keep our valuables. And then I have two balconies, actually. I'll show you the first one. First one's up here. I like how he walks up those stairs. This is the rooftop. You know, I got a table. You can sit down and chill for a bit. Overlook the village. What, you know, we're trying to turn into a village. And then I have another balcony over here. With the table that, uh, that overlooks, you know, the water, the two trees I planted. You know, it's cozy. You can sit up here with your friends, talk about how you don't know what the fuck you're doing, or, you know, uh, the blob killed you or something, whatever the fuck, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't have any basement or anything like that. I'm trying not to do a whole lot of um, uh, terraforming in this one and digging into the ground. I did that in my first original world. I built an amazing fucking meat hall, uh, and it was more like a tavern, really, with a huge basement. That place was amazing, but once I got done building it, I, you know, I built a huge cellar inside of it, um, and once I got done doing that, man, my frame rate dropped by, like, 25, it seems like, uh, just because of that. So, anyways, let's get to this overhaul, uh, of the home here. So, my hearth, I want kind of to be centered, um... I guess I should pop it out real quick to see how big it's going to be. I believe it's a miscellaneous. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to be pretty big. I got to bring my stone cutter too. So I wonder if I should put it in the corner or maybe long ways like this. Oh, you know what? That might look good actually. And put it right in the center. Yeah, so you could sit on either side. That might be a good idea. Um, I might just plop it right here on top of the wood actually yeah all right let's go get the stone cutter uh plop the hearth down and then we'll start um figure out the rest of the chimney and all that shit all right so um let's not put the hearth down i guess since it decided to rain For anybody that was like, why are you putting it on top of the wooden floor? There we go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's much nicer than what I had before. It's so homey. Shit. Wrong button. I wanted to repair that, not destroy it. There we go. I'll take that. This is probably going to get um, worn out again because the balcony up here... 
uh, up top there. And sometimes it does get rained on, but maybe that's good. Okay, so hopefully that's enough ventilation to let the smoke out. But I was thinking too is by having this wall over here, it may contain what smoke will build up and uh, it'll force out that way. So looks like it's working for now. Perfect, more compact. It's a little bit more out of the way, but not 100% really, but enough out of the way. I wonder if I could put that tanning rack over here, actually. The, um, this thing is in the way, but did you let me put it back there? Oh, you will. How cool is that? There we go. Will I be able to, it's going to be a pain in the ass to redo that torch. I'll, <laughs> I'll figure that out later. Maybe I'll put the torch on that side. Yeah, I don't want to waste the resin right now to tear it down. You don't get the resin back, unfortunately. Cool. <clears throat> And if the, um, if the smoke was going to be gathering up, it would already be doing it. Nice. So we got all this fucking space now. Really cool. You know what I thought about, too, is instead of this wood ground over here, putting in a stone floor on this side. That might be nice, right? Just thought about it. And that's going to happen. Uh, oh, yeah. I have piles of stone over here. I don't think I showed this before. It's not a big deal, but... I made a little storage area where we could just put piles of stuff in. It makes the area look nice, neat, organized, I think. Okay, anyways, yeah, let's do that. Let's tear up this floor and let's put in some stone flooring. Cool. So let me get my table um, that I had. I had just materials for, you know, a basic bitch fine wood table over here. I think we needed all of that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and these are just some of the food items I had on it. So let's do that. Uh, I believe it's in furniture. Yeah. Oh, this thing is tiny. Oh, cool. This is going to work out because I have plenty of space for this now. Yeah, so we'll put this like... Um, Right here in the middle. I uh, kind of want it centered on the fire, actually. Yeah, so we'll put this, like, right here. Um, and I think I had, like, two or three chairs. I'm just going to put two chairs because it's just... There's a piece of dirt sticking through the ground. I'll fix that later. Yeah, it's just me and my wife. If we host any get-togethers, it'll be up on the roof. This area right here is really dark. I need another torch here, but for now, I don't have a... I don't really want to spare the resin. All right, let's get all the other parts. Nails and stuff. These food items I had. I had my mead horn of Odin in here as well. So I think I had like four items, so we just plop a couple of those down. Bam, bam, bam. Man, I'm getting full here. All right. That. That there. Put a blueberry here. Um, you know what? I'll actually put a, a bowl of turnip stew. Yeah. And, um, the rest of my food. Oh, shit. And the glitch. We'll put down a, a single carrot. Perfect. All right, so the rest of these food items, let's put them all back in here where I had them. Nice, I like it. And I did have, um, I think a rancid remains skull. Um, instead of that guy, I have a whole bunch of them sitting over here. I haven't really put up. I really like the uh, day 181. Nice. I really like the Grey Dwarf Shaman trophies. They just look really cool to me. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to put this guy right here over the fire. Like right here. Nice. 
Yeah, and then I'll put some banners off to the sides. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna look real good. Let's do that. Let's get some uh, leather scraps. Uh, I normally have this on five. It screws me up if I don't. All right, let's do um, let's do a red one, and um, we're in the house, so let's make it look nice, not dark. So let's do a blue one and a red one. So I need blood bags and blueberries. I got plenty of blueberries over here, but all my blood bags are over here with the rest of my uh, my mead and food ingredients. I think that's enough, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I keep meat and food ingredients here so I can cook stuff on the cauldron. And this one is pretty much just full of honey. Fermenters are here, which I actually need to fill back up. I have mead that I keep pre-made over here so I can just plop it in. So let's do a poison resistance and uh, another frost resistance, actually. Bam. See, I, I like that idea. It, it works out having them pre-made so I don't have to go gather the 900 materials it takes to make all the different ones. Oh, you know what? I need one more. Um, I need one more stand on this table. I'll put it right here in front of my chair, actually. Uh, for my meat horn. Bam. There we go. Now we're looking good. Okay. What else do I need for these? All right, I got that. What do I need for this? Oh, the blueberries. Perfect. Let's grab... Uh, I think it was like four. It's fine. Cool. Plop one down right here. Grab our red one. Plop one down right here. Nice. That's looking good. I like it. You know, there's more furnishings and stuff we'll eventually put in here. Um, I might put in that new log piece that they have. Um, let's actually see what that looks like. A sitting log. It only takes two pieces of core wood, which isn't bad. And then uh, you could just, you know, sit down right in front of the fire. See what that looks like. I have not made this one yet. Uh, I'm assuming it goes this way. These guys are talking way more than they used to. Can you walk in front of it? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. I do have to put a cooking station on here, so... Um, I do most of my cooking at the cauldron. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put a cauldron here because I have one um, over there at the uh, at the forge. And I don't know if um, I want to keep all the items over here I need for everything. But it would be convenient to be able to do everything at home. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll see how I want to do that. But Oh, I only grabbed a couple. Yeah. Grab some more. There we go. Nice. Nice little sitting area. Not bad. Not bad. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Yeah, I think for now that's good. Let's put a... I think these are 26. Yeah, so let's do that. Put that there to finish it off. And, um... Yeah, that's not too bad. Nah, eventually I'm going to do something with this ground so it doesn't look all jacked up. I'm going to tear it up with the, uh, with the pickaxe and all this too, make it look a little bit nicer. I bet you I want to pave all of this. Make it a little bit neater, you know, it's a slow work in progress. All right, let's check on our vegetables. We've been here for a couple days. Oh, they're doing good. Still growing, perfect. All right, everybody, well, I think I'm gonna end this where I started, right here in the farm. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know this wasn't like, an insanely like mind-blowing uh level of content creation and things like that but this is what i enjoy about valheim get up in the mornings you know get my coffee or energy drink what i'm gonna do jump in here tend to the farm do a little building sometimes this this game is very dynamic sometimes it can be very very relaxing and almost therapeutic and in other times it can be super stressful depending on what you're doing but that's what i love about this game this game is amazing anyways thank you for hanging out Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.